Good morning, everyone. I'm Dave. Welcome back to the Wii Hours, where I suffer from periodic bouts of insomnia and play games to pass the time. We are back playing Bounty Train. In the last episode, we got our brother's shares. Well, one of our brothers. We haven't found all our siblings yet, but we've got our brother's shares of the railroad, which brings us up to an 8% holding in the railroad and slightly beats our competitor at this point. So we had a good episode the last time, especially after recovering from the disaster that we had with the bandits. Now we are tasked with going to Richmond to find our sister Pearl. We have not been to Richmond yet, so we have to unlock that. So Cincinnati to Richmond, which is over here right below Washington, uh, that is a thousand dollars to unlock that. Is there any, there is no other way we can do that except going all the way around. So that's a little silly. Well, we've got the money to do it. So let's unlock that railroad. Yes, here we go. All right, we can do that now. And let's just see. I don't want to take any cargo because we don't really know what's going to sell well in Richmond because we haven't been there yet. But let's see if anyone needs a ride to Richmond. We could certainly take a passenger to Richmond. You're going to Richmond. And you want to be there in 13 days. I think we've got that. So, yes, get on board. Absolutely, we'll take your passenger. And let's just check City Hall. Maybe there's something that's going to Richmond deliver three units of fur well we don't have three units of fur and we can't do it anyway we don't have the reputation in cincinnati yet uh three no we can't do that either all right nothing we can really do with city hall right at the moment let's just get over to richmond and find our sister pearl so cincinnati to richmond that is going to take us six days that will more than meet our passengers requirements and we sort of have to swing into Washington and then swing out again because that's how trains work, apparently. And arrive. Oh, God, no bandits. Oh, Lord. I, I can't afford to fight them. We're just, I don't even have any crew. We're, we're, no, this is terrible. Great. Now I'm paying a $400 toll. $400 toll to, to get to Richmond. All right. Yes, there's an extra small caboose available. Fantastic. And we're going to be stuck with that guy for a while. He's going to hang out there. We're going to have to think about what we want to do with that. All right, Pearl. Oh, I see you down in the corner there. Hello, Sister Pearl. Hello. Pearl, it's me, your brother Walter. Is it really you, Walter? It's been such a long time. I'm so glad to, I get to see you again. What are you doing so far away from home? I've come to take care of father's business before his partners cause unnecessary bloodshed. We need to take 51% of our family business back so we can change the route of the Transcontinental Railroad Project, and I can't do that without your help. You can count on me, brother, but I don't have much time left. What is wrong? You've fallen ill. Okay, I've got to get some medicine for my sister. What do we have to do here? Search for a drugstore, get medicine, and return to Pearl. Okay, don't let her die. That is a very grim quest. And there is no drugstore in Richmond. There's a post office and a gunsmith. Okay, where is there a drugstore? And we're going to have to pass this bandit again. Unless we go down to Wilmington. How much is it to unlock Wilmington? It's 500 to unlock Wilmington. I don't know if Wilmington has a drugstore, though. There's not one in Washington. There's a bank. There is one in Philadelphia. Okay. It's just we're going to have to pass that bandit every time we do this. That's kind of a pain in the neck. I wish I knew if there were one in Wilmington. And it's 500 to unlock that rail line. This is a little sticky. We're going to... Actually, while we're in Richmond, is there anyone we can hire? Uh, anyone looking for a job? Anyone looking for a job? No, you're a passenger. You want to go to Jackson. I'm not going anywhere near that. Uh, Lewis, what's your deal? Who are you and what can I do for you? I was wounded in action. I need to get to a hospital. Okay. Okay. You've got 25 days to get to a hospital. We'll get 1,400 experience and we will get a positive reputation with the Confederate Army. I don't know how I feel about that. But, you know, it won't hurt me to be diplomatic. At, I mean, we are in the middle of the Civil War here. Uh, it is one day after Christmas in 1860. So it's Boxing Day, 1860. It would not pay, it would not be too bad if we were a little diplomatic to the Confederates. Uh, let me just check that we, where is the nearest hospital? I'm going to come back to you in a second, Lewis. You hang tight. You hang tight. You can't be that badly injured if you need 25 days to get to a hospital. That can't be that bad. Oh, there's actually not really any hospitals super close by. 
at all. There's one up in Buffalo. There's one in Boston. Um, what else does Boston have? Boston does not have a pharmacy. New York does not have a pharmacy. Okay. Okay. If we go to Washington and then to Philadelphia, oh, it's this bandit. He's going to make trouble for us every time. We can get the Confederate guy up to Boston. And I think we can do that within 25 days. And then if we come back through Philadelphia, we can grab the drugstore thing. And how long? It doesn't actually say how long we have. I, I did find my sister Pearl. Why are you telling me I didn't find my sister Pearl? Okay, we're, we're going to make a play here. So, Pearl, um, I... Yeah, it's me, your brother, Walter. Why are we doing this again? We just did this. Uh, what's wrong? You're sick. Okay, I'll be back soon with medicine. Okay, so there's the time limit. 46 days to find her some medicine. I think we can do that and do the Confederate soldier. And still deal with this bandit guy. He will go away eventually. That's my experience. The bandit camps move. But he ain't going anywhere in the near future. So if we did our first stop at, say, Washington, which is effectively right up the street, what would sell well in Washington? Uh, cotton, not so much. How about steel? No, not at all. How about food? 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 Yeah, food's pretty good, and it's pretty cheap. And considering we're going to have to pay the toll... Okay, so let's take you... And then let's go back to the station and grab that Confederate soldier. Okay, Lewis, you're on board. Uh, yeah, I will, I will totally get you to a hospital. Yes, stay with me. All right, so Lewis is on board. Let's start this plan. Operation Long Run to get some medicine. Going to Washington. Yep, pay the toll. Yeah, I know. Ah. Yeah, the, the odd thing is it actually does get me reputation with them, so the bandits like me more every time I give them money. Why am I not surprised by this? Okay, in Washington. Unload the food. Food goes away. 65 profit. And then what can we take up to Philly that we can sell? Because there's a drugstore in Philadelphia. We can get our, what is that, alcohol? Is that contraband? That is contraband in Philly. How about steel? Steel's not... Oh, steel's really good, actually. We won't be able to take much of it, but it's really good. So, yeah, that'll, that'll give us a really good profit. How much of that can we take? We're running a little heavy with the passenger car. We can take three loads of steel. So let's do that. Lewis, you're still on board. Excellent. You haven't fallen off the train yet. So three loads of steel to Philly, and we'll pick up the medicine. Oh, God, what now? An ally of the South is always welcome in our camp. Oh, it's a Confederate camp. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, you wouldn't want to take your your soldier off my hands, would you? Can, can you heal him up? No, I guess not. Uh, no, we're just going to skip you, actually. We're just going to skip you. Okay, so into Philly, to the market, sell the steel. Lewis is still on board. Excellent. And then to the drugstore. Yes, I would like to buy medicine for my sister. Okay, what have you got? Uh, medicine bottle, energy herbs, small medicine bottle, uh, medicine, eat more healing herbs, strength booster. Uh, sure, one medicine bottle, please. No, I don't want to buy three. I want to buy one. I haven't seen my sister in ages. I don't like her that much. Okay, is there anything I can sell you while I'm here? No, you don't want to, you don't want to buy dynamite, do you? No, you don't. Okay, that's fine. Um, actually, can I, can I put the dynamite in, in your hands? Can you use that as a weapon? Can you, can I put it on your belt? Oh, I can. All right. Good. Well, maybe the next time we, uh, run into some bandits, we can dynamite them. And now that I'm looking at that, Walter, you're due for a level up. So what have we got? Power of the night fighting techniques from the past to ages help the character deal more damage with melee. I would like them to not even get that close. Uh, Traitor doesn't actually seem to be really working out for us. Um... I'm going to try it again, though. I mean, anything we can do to boost profit, that's fine. And where are we going next? Are we going... Do we want to go directly to Boston? Probably we do. Let's get this Confederate soldier dumped off as quickly as possible. And then we'll swing back down and get the medicine to our sister. So what could we take to Boston? Cotton's doing pretty well, and it's nice and light. How about tobacco? Also light. 
Uh, good but not great. Jewelry. Oh, that's always a good one. Not so good in Boston, though. No, we'll take a big hit on that. Tools? How about tools? Tools is meh. Uh, weapons are probably contraband. Yes, they are. Uh, but is alcohol, though? Alcohol is not contraband. All right, we're taking some booze to Boston. And as someone who lives outside the Boston area, I'm not surprised by that. Yep. All right, alcohol to Boston. Drop off the Confederate soldier. This is all going according to plan here. We don't have a lot of money, but that's fine. That's fine. We're going to make some money on the way back. Oh, you're a Union soldier. Okay, no, I'm, not, I'm skipping you too. I'm, it's delightful you guys keep inviting me into your camps. Would you like to take the Confederate soldier off my hands? I bet you'd be way more interested in him than I am. All right, so in Boston, back to the market. Sell the booze. Yeah, good little profit there. 205 profit. Good, we're going to need it to pay the toll on the bandit on the way back. So how, how are we doing? We've got 36 days to uh, get back to our sister. Uh, we've completed you. We've completed you. And we need to get you to a hospital. How do we, how do, we do that? The hospital's right there, dude. The hospital is right there. Uh, okay, yes, I'm... Okay, do, do that. Do that. Are, are we not in opening hours? What is the problem here? We need to get Lewis to the hospital. It's it's noon. How are you not open? How, how are you not open? Okay. Empty bed, empty bed. Yes, empty bed. What is the problem here? Okay, the problem is I didn't read the quest properly. That's what the problem was. I am I'm very guilty of that sometimes, of just sort of bombarding my way through games without actually reading things. So the wounded officer doesn't need to go to just any hospital. He needs to either go to Charleston or Pittsburgh. He was very specific in his hospital needs. I think the best we're going to do is Pittsburgh. That's not completely out of the question. Uh, Pittsburgh is down here. So if we did... Boston, New York, or even Boston, Philadelphia, it doesn't really matter. And then it's only cost us 300 to unlock Pittsburgh. And by the time we get down there, we'll have made that money if we do a nice little Boston to Philadelphia run. And then we can get him to Pittsburgh. We have 15 days to do it. I think we can still do that and swing over to our sister. So what can we take to Philly? Let's try and be as efficient as possible here. What is doing well in Philadelphia? Are weapons contraband? No, they're not, actually. Um, they're also not selling very well in Philadelphia. How about jewelry? Do you like jewelry in Philadelphia? Uh, you don't hate it. How about oil? Oil? No, not so much, really. Okay, back to jewelry. That are, Yeah, jewelry, jewelry. Yeah, that seems to be about the best bet here. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. And let's go to Philly down here and then when we get down to Philly we'll unlock that railroad over to Pittsburgh yeah so minor detour to a hospital we didn't need to go to but you know at the very least we'll unlock a new rail line so that's kind of worth it let's unload that Eh, a little bit of a profit not not world shattering but a little bit of a profit let's unlock that rail line that was 300 right? Yeah, 300 bucks for that. Uh, we're really not doing well on the money here. But let's just get over to Pittsburgh and get this guy off the train. Maybe we can pick up something good in Pittsburgh to take back to Philly to go down to Richmond. Oh, it looks like the bandit's gone. Excellent. I just saw that out of the corner of my eye. Okay, uh, talk to Union General. Uh, that would be Ulysses Grant. Wow, Ulysses Grant is, on, is, is at the station. That's... that's 
very interesting. Um, this game is actually pretty historically accurate, too, which I was reading a little bit more about it. And um, a lot of the inventions that are happening, like an episode or two ago, we had the guy who invented toilet paper, uh, apparently is all historically accurate to the time. These are, you know, obviously Ulysses Grant is a very real person who happened. Uh, what do you want from me? I just want to show you that I admire the courage of every single Union soldier. I've captured a Confederate officer. Oh, I'm actually turning him in. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. I like that. Yes. Um, I, do you have a reward for a... Con oh, the Confederates are going to hate this. They're going to hate this. But yeah, no, you know what? I'm a Union guy. We won. We won. Um, I'm guessing you beat him in a vicious but fair fight. Uh, yeah, sure. Exactly. Yes, I did that. Oh, we got $2,000 for him. Oh, boy. That was a... That that's gonna that's gonna come back to bite us in the butt later on, but that was a good choice for right now. Um, yes, I please I I absolutely insist that you you give me some money. All right, so what is our next move here? That was a great little profitable run. I'm glad we turned him in. He's probably not happy with us, but that's fine. Uh, I think best move is Pittsburgh to Philly and then Philly back down to Richmond. And again, it looks like that bandit camp has left the Richmond area. So hopefully we won't have to pay the toll going through there. So let's do a couple of things. First of all, does anyone need a ride to Philly? You're going to Richmond. You are going to Detroit. Uh, nobody wants to go there, man. Uh, you're going to, well, you're going to Richmond and you need to do it in 13 days. We are going to Richmond. Mm, can we do that in 13 days? I, uh, let me check. Let me check. Hang on, lady. You stay right there. Stay right there. How long is Pittsburgh to Pil Philly? Pittsburgh to Philly is three days and it can't be much more down to Richmond. Uh, yeah, you know what? You can, you can hop on board. You can totally hop on board. Uh, so who are you? Mahala? Yeah, absolutely. Get on board. We're eventually going to Richmond. Now, what can we take to Philly on the way? How's medicine doing in Philly? Not bad. Tools, much better. Much better. Yeah, tools it is. Okay, so five loads of tools. And let's get over to Philadelphia. Good. All right, off we go. Oh, what are you? Are you more bandits? Who th who are you? It is bandits. God's sakes. Um, Cullen Baker, I wonder if you were a real person. Um, all right, I'm, I'm just paying the toll. I, I can't get involved in combat. The last time we did that, we lost the entire train. I just can't afford to take that kind of hit right now. Uh, yeah, Mahalo, we're eventually going to get you to Philly. Let's just drop this off in the market. Nice... Nice 275 profit there. Now, what's going to do well in Richmond? How about jewelry? That's always a big hit. Oh, yeah. Jewelry's going to do very well. Thank you very much. Maybe we can get down to Richmond. We look at upgrading the train a little bit. Yeah, we'll definitely take that. And actually, while I'm here, is there anyone? Oh, not what I wanted to do. Uh, while I'm here, is there anyone I could be hiring? Jerome, you look like you need a job. What do you do? Services cost you 400 Okay, what exactly do you do? What's your thing? Uh, you are... You're a trader. I mean, you can shoot a gun, but you're mostly a trader. I don't know if you're the right guy for me right now, Jerome. Uh, Samuel, what's, what's your deal? Are you Samuel Colt, great inventor of revolvers? Oh my god, we found another real person. Colonel Samuel Colt, what can I do for you? I'm a train owner, and I'll gladly work with an ingenious man such as yourself. Um, I need some help with selling my revolvers in the South. Can you bring this revolver to Jacksonville for demonstration purposes and get a contract? Um, I really wasn't going anywhere near Jacksonville in the near future, and I'm not 100% sure how happy the Confederate Army is with me because I just turned in one of their guys. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pass. There's no time limit on this though. There is no time limit. It's decent money and it ain't bad experience. And actually looking at experience Walter's due for yet another level up. Walter, you are just a leveling machine. Um I'll go. Okay. Um it doesn't appear to have a time limit. So, wait, are you going to be a passenger? I don't I don't want you... No, you just wanted me to bring the revolver. All right, I'm going to give it a shot. Um, what does that... So, what do we got here? Yeah, I've completed that. I've completed that. 
Um, I have eight days to get her to Richmond, and I have to arrive in Atlanta and talk to General Lee, and there's no time limit. Okay, cool. Yeah, we'll do that. So now we need to go to Richmond. What is... Oh, did we already... We already got jewelry to Richmond, right? Yeah, we already did jewelry. Yeah, that's where we're going. Okay. All right, we already covered the whole trading thing. So down to Richmond. That's going to take five days. Uh, yeah, we got eight days to get the passenger down, so that should be fine. Roll our way into Richmond. And then I want to have a look at exactly where Atlanta is. As my knowledge of geography is terrible. So passenger taken care of. You're off the train. Good, thank you. And let's sell the jewels in Richmond. Oh, nice profit. 660 profit. All right, we are in pretty decent shape money-wise. And we've got the medicine for Pearl. Where did she go? Pearl, I have the medicine for you. That gives her a brief 30 days of respite. So she will stay alive another 30 days longer, plus the 16 that we had as a bumper. So she's got a month and a half to live. Okay. Uh, I'm afraid the doctors here don't know what to do. A local shaman, however, claims he can cure me with the proper ingredients. Uh, what ingredients are they? Shaman is a half Mexican named Juan Matsua living near Louisville. Talk to him and find out what he needs to cure me. Okay, so we got to go over there. Yep, I guess we're, we're definitely going to do that. We, that, is, that is the plot. Anyone we can hire here? No. Okay, let me do a little geography here. So we need to get down to Atlanta. That's sort of... Oh, wow, that's... Where the heck is Atlanta? There it is. Okay. Um, that, that's, that's kind of a hike. So if we did Richmond to Knoxville... That's our best move. Richmond to Knoxville gets us to Atlanta pretty easily. And then Louisville is over here. So actually, if we go to, if we can just get to Knoxville, that puts us in a good position to get either of these. Uh, oh, wow. 1,200 to unlock that railroad. Or if we go through Cincinnati, uh, 500. But we're still going to have to, un well, 500 to do that, 600 to do that. So that's only 1100 to unlock both of those routes. I think that is probably the best move. The time crunch is going to be our sister, so we should get to Louisville sooner rather than later. Uh, any bandits along the way that I should be aware of? No. Okay, so let's go back to Richmond. I want to do a couple of things here. Let's, uh, first of all, level up Walter. Kung Fu, Agility, or Trader? Uh, let's do Agility. Increase your evasion and increase your, or rather reduce your reload time. Yes, do that, please. And so what, let's see, what's in the depot? What do we got going on over here? Uh, a DeWitt 040, and we are, uh, we also have a DeWitt 040, and ours is upgraded, so nothing we can really do there. 1,200 for the middle caboose. Hmm. That would get us three crew members. Our caboose only does one right now. Okay, here is my plan. We are going to store the passenger car and store the small caboose. And instead, we're going to take... We're going to buy the middle caboose. Yes. Yes. We're going to travel a little bit lighter for the near future. And you know what? Nope. Back to the depot. Back to the depot. Because I, I see us holding on to that middle caboose for a while. That's, that's going to be something we hold on to. Um, is there any more upgrades we can make to this? We've kind of upgraded a lot of stuff here. Booster? No. Durability? Um, yeah, let's let's put a point into durability. It's all pretty inexpensive to upgrade these things. So, yeah, let's just get that up to its max durability. That will help. That will help. Uh, back to the station, and I'm just going to refresh my own memory on the route. We are going to do Richmond to Knoxville. Let's just go ahead and unlock that now. Yep, 600 to unlock that. Don't really know what's going to sell well in Knoxville we should probably just take a gamble. I mean, really silly to go empty-handed all that way. I'm going to take a shot. Food always seems to do reasonably well. 
Um, obviously, we haven't been to Knoxville yet, so we don't know what's going to sell well there. But food always seems to do okay. Let's just take a load of food. It's fairly light. And let's get over to Knoxville. Okay, how long is this going to take? Four days. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Okay, middle caboose available. I've got one. Thank you. And I just saw something pop up. Louisiana has seceded from the Union. Well, to heck with you then. Didn't want you that much anyway. All right, market. How is our food going to do here? Do we make any money on this, or was this stupid to take it here? Oh, actually, we did very well with that. 105 profit for a complete guess. That's not bad at all. All right. Oops, not what I wanted to do. Wanted to go to the station. Let's try that one more time. Station... Um, Albert, you look like you need a job. And you're a Union soldier, too. What do you do? Uh, what is that skill? Fast hands. Cur character reloads turrets faster. Oh, that sounds fun. We don't have turrets yet, but maybe we will at some point. And I'm just going to go ahead and take all the help I can get at this point. 440. That'll still leave us some money. You know what, Albert Gilbert? You are hired. Yep, you have joined the team. There you are down there in our brand new middle caboose. And that seems like a good place to leave it for today. We've got a couple of things to bang out the next time. We're going to go over to Louisville. We're going to eventually work our way down to Atlanta. And we're going to see if we can get our sister's shares, hopefully by saving her life. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>